From Sydney's iconic Capital Theatre and broadcasting live on Foxtel Arts, welcome to the 17th Annual Helpman Awards. Celebrating the best of Australian live performance with the industry's biggest stars and spectacular musical numbers from Kinky Boots, The Book of Mormon, Disney's Aladdin, Reg Livermore in My Fair Lady, Green Day's American Idiot, Beautiful The Carol King Musical, The Australian Dance Theatre, The Sydney Children's Choir and Marsha Hines in Velvet. Tonight, we honour artistic achievement in live performance. This is the 2017 Helpman Awards. Presented live in Sydney. Ladies and gentlemen, the cast of Kinky Boots.
Please welcome to the stage international musical therapist Jan van der Stoel. Now, Kinky Boots is the first of our nominated shows that you'll see from tonight. You'll see songs from tonight. It tells the story of how a young man who inherits a shoe factory, he saves that shoe factory with uh, the help of a lovely lady with very big hands and feet. <laughs> uh, he saves the business by manufacturing what they call kinky boots for the lovely lady and for her friends, who actually, incidentally, all have uh, big hands and feet. And <laughs> Some of them actually quite big Adam's apples. <laughs> oh, and actually talking about apples, how about this outfit? Hey? <laughs> oh, the Kinky Boots wardrobe tune, they made this for me. And uh, you would never know to look at it, but I've just had a baby. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? At 57, and uh, you know, but I'm a celebrity, so it's important to lose your baby weight, you know, straight away, like I have. But look, um, tonight's not about me. Tonight is about parting the red curtain and taking a look. <laughs> and taking a look up the arts, at the arts, <laughs> at the arts, at the arts, looking up to the best and the brightest of Australian artists. And tonight, we are being looked at as well. We are live all around the country on Foxtel Arts. And of course, all of you lovely people here watching the Helpmans, here in the beautiful Capitol Theatre, ladies and gentlemen, and the three straight men who are sitting in the audience, <laughs> welcome to the 2017 Helpman Awards! Yes, it's live theatre's night of nights. The night where all the ladies come along dressed up to the nines and all the men come however much they like. <laughs> the night where we get to see the big production numbers from all the hit musicals, but nothing from the plays, which is funny, but apparently uh, they don't have any songs, so. <laughs> the night where we look up to you know, the brightest talents, and in one case we look down, six feet under, to Cecil Beaton, nominated for best costume design, even though he's been dead for 37 years. <laughs> to all the other costume designers tonight, I say, what are you doing? I mean, he's dead and he's still kicking goals, you know? <laughs> come on, Aussie, come on. So, without further ado, to help me present our first award, a man who's been referred to as easily our best male cabaret artist by the Sydney Morning Herald, and he's one of the many stars of Fox Hill's beloved drama, A Place to Call Home. Please give him the clap, Tim Drexel. Look at you. <laughs> I can barely stand up. I can see. <laughs> Thanks for the clap. Um, I, you look incredible. Oh, no. Oh, now, Tim. Yeah. I have to say something to you. Yep. Peter, he loves a place to call home. Oh, that's very sweet. Uh, pa Peter is my husband and cousin. <laughs> oh, I can't tell you. He honestly, he watches it all the time. He watches, oh. he's obsessed with it. Um, he especially watches this one scene that's between you and your co-star, David Betty. Uh, <laughs> I don't know exactly what's going on because I'm always busy with the baby, but he's watching it and you've got your shirt off. You just come out of oh. the shower. Anyway, he watches it a lot at night time. It's wonderful. He really loves it. Right. <laughs> Interesting. 
anyway, thank him for me. That's yes, very no sweet. Problem. And uh, we're very proud of the show. Oh, very you proud. should be. Actually, I'm sorry. I, I actually have to stop. I can't actually stand on these anymore because oh. uh, my back is not what it used to be since I had the baby. So um, <laughs> I'm just going to okay? let you have a, get a cracking start there, Tim, because um, it's a long show, you know, and we like to keep it a short show, and it's never happened here. So. <laughs> <laughs> First time for everything. Our first Helpman Award tonight is for Best Male Actor in a Supporting Role in a Play. And the nominees are... Guy Simon, Jasper Jones, Jamie Oxenbold, The Literati, Peter Carroll, Twelfth Night, Pip Miller, Fate Healer. And the winner of the first Helpman for tonight goes to Guy Simon for Jasper Jones. This is Guy Simon's first Helpman nomination. Guy wins the award for his role in the play Jasper Jones, which is also nominated tonight. Oh my gosh, I've got a Helpman. <laughs> Oh, now I've got to talk. I've got to move my mouth and sound is supposed to come out. Um, Jasper Jones is such a lonely role and it's made less lonely by having family around. And I need to thank three families, my LARPA family, who are here tonight. Um, I'm just a little boy from LARPA Ruse with big city dreams and you've made all of those dreams come true by having your support and your love, and I just need to thank you so much. Um, Jesus, I'm talking, I'm right here, and you're all looking at me. Um, oh, now they're playing the music. Um, my uh, Morrissey family, I love you so much. Michael Montgomery, this is for us. Um, my Jasper family, both MTC and Belvoir. Um, I love you all. Uh, Annie Lou Sarks, Jada Alberts, Kate Mulvaney, I love you so much. And Sam Strong, you have changed my life. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Guy Simon. Have a good night. Oh. Yes, yeah, sorry, guys. I know they're not very classy, but you know, that's what I wore from my dressing room. So, oh. and on the positive, now all the ladies who are wearing stilettos, they're all jealous of me. <laughs> Okay, now, because I'm a lady, I might do the next one. Sure. More, more appropriate. Um, <laughs> the next award is for Best Female Actor in a Supporting Role in a Play. And the nominees are... Amber McMahon, Girl Asleep. <laughs> Chloe Bayliss, Gloria. Melita Urosic, John. Tilda Cobham-Hervey, Things I Know to be True. <laughs> And the helpman goes to Amber McMahon for Girl Asleep. This is Amber McMahon's second Helpman Award. Amber wins for her role in Girl Asleep, presented by the Windmill Theatre Company of South Australia. Holy moly, thank you very much. Um, this goes to the entire Girl Asleep team. Um, they are just absolutely joyous collaborators. Um, there's some strange and wonderful alchemy that happens in their rehearsal room. Um, so thank you to Rose Myers, Kay Weeks, Matt Whittett, Luke Smiles and Gab Nankerville, uh, the master of the onesie, Jonathan Oxlade. Um, thank you to Windmill, thank you to Belvoir and uh, thanks to my mum, she's shown up looking, looking very smart. So thank you, you're all excellent, thanks. Actually, let's change it up and I'll do this one as well, just not oh. to be sexist and things. Okay. <laughs> the next Heldman is for Best Male Actor in a Supporting Role in a Musical. And the four nominees are... Bert Labonte, The Book of Mormon. Michael James Scott, Aladdin. Reg Livermore, My Fair Lady. Rowan Witt, The Book of Mormon. And the Bobby goes to Michael James Scott Aladdin! Michael James Scott is a Broadway actor who appeared in the original productions of The Book of Mormon and Something Rotten. 
Michael wins the Hilton for his role as the genie in Walt Disney's Aladdin. Yeah! Wow! Oh my gosh. All right now, all right. Thank you so much. Goodness, thank you to the amazing Aladdin family, Disney Theatricals. Thank you all for having me. This has been amazing. You all have embraced me so amazingly from just coming from New York City to your community and I am so honored to be here. Thank God to my parents who said yes to the little chubby chocolate theater nerd to just do whatever he wanted to do. To my fiance Jeremy, thank you for making this new normal of me being in Australia and you in Los Angeles okay. I can't wait to marry you. Thank you all so, so, so much. I love you. Ainsley Melham, you're a freaking star and it's amazing to get to act next to you every night. Thank you so much, Helpmans, for, for this and I don't know. I'm like, am I Aussie now? Yeah! to do all of them, come oh, on. Sorry, so sorry, uh, of course. Um, the next award is for Best Female Actor in a Supporting Role in a Musical. And the nominations are... Lucy Maunder, Matilda the Musical. Phoebe Panaritos, Green Day's American Idiot. Robin Nevin, My Fair Lady. Tegan Wooters, Kinky Boots. And the winner is Robin Nevin for My Fair Lady. Um, sadly. Stop, Vanessa. Um, <laughs> sadly, Robin can't be here tonight. I mean, nothing's wrong with her, she just can't be here. Um, <laughs> don't panic. So the award will be accepted on her behalf by the star of Downton Abbey, Charles Edwards. <laughs> now the music. Uh, it gives me huge pleasure to accept this on behalf of the mummy of our company, uh, the legend nay, the ledge that is Robin Nevin. She is not here, but uh, I know she would like to, me to tell you three things you don't know about her. One is that she detests coriander. <laughs> detests it. The second is that she loves Negronis. The third is that Reg Livermore calls her toots. <laughs> Thank you very much. musical needs no introduction. <laughs> I guess I'll do it. <laughs> One of the most popular and critically acclaimed musicals in recent years, The Book of Mormon, follows two Mormon missionaries as they travel to a poor and war-torn village in northern Uganda. The message they spread inspires a local village girl to dream of a better life. Here to perform from the Book of Mormon, please welcome one of tonight's nominees, Zara Newman. Waterfalls and unicorns flying Where there was no suffering, no pain Where there was laughter instead of dying I always thought she'd made it up To comfort me in times of pain But now I know that place is real Now I know its name Salt Lake Cassie not just a story mama told For a village in Utah Where the roofs are thatched with gold If I could let myself believe I know just where I'd be 
ride on the next bus to paradise. Salt Lake City. I can imagine what it must be like, this perfect happy place. I'll bet the goat meat there is plentiful, and they have vitamin injections by the case. The wallets there are friendly, they help you cross the street. And there's a red cross on every corner, So shitty. Now salvation has a name. Salt Lake City. Please welcome Kate Mulvaney and one of the stars of Kinky Boots, Toby Francis. Kate, okay. congratulations on your nomination for Richard III. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. And Toby, I, I just loved you in Kinky Boots. It's a, it's a fun show, it's fun. Is that a show? Mm. Oh. <laughs> We're here to present the design awards. First of all, the award for best costume design. Here are the nominees. Cecil Beaton, My Fair Lady. Greg Barnes, Aladdin. Jennifer Irwin, Our Land People Stories. Tess Schofield, The Drover's Wife. The helpman goes to Greg Barnes, Aladdin. <laughs> Aladdin's costume supervisor, Janet Hyde. I'm not Greg Barnes. But on behalf of Greg, I'd like to thank Sky Switzer, who represented him so beautifully. Also, he'd like to thank the best costumers in the world, of course, the Australian team, led by Leonie Grace, <laughs> Jodie Morrison for incredible shoes, and Rick McGill for his incredible turbans. Thank you very much. Next up, we have the Helpman for Best Scenic Design. These are the nominees. Anna Cordingly, Jasper Jones. Bob Crowley, Aladdin. David Morton and Aaron Barton, The Wider Earth. Katrin Leah Tag, Saul. And the award goes to Anna Cordingly, Jasper Jones. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you so very much. I'm really humbled to even be on a list with such fantastic designers. Uh, so the thing about design is that it is wholly collaborative, um, or it should be. And Jasper Jones uh, was a design with such crazy obsessive detail, it was only ever going to work as a whole production team and team leapt at it and made it their own. And I really want to thank specifically um, Aldo and his team of constructors, Kevin, Kerry Saxby, Andrew Bell Chambers, Jeff and Colin, uh, and Shane and your team of scenic artists. And thank you very much. Have a good night, everyone. And of course, none of those award-winning designs would mean anything in the dark. Here are the nominees for Best Lighting Design. Jeff Cobham, Backbone. Joachim Klein, Saul. Mark Howitt and Sean McKinnon, Borno on Guinea. Matthew Marshall, Green Day's American Idiot. And this year's winner is Joachim Klein for Saul. It's all one special production for me. Not only because of Handel's music that I love very much, but also because of the intensive rehearsal period full of energy and creative power. Thanks to the production team and especially to Barry Kosky for his confidence in my work. I've been very proud of both the nomination, but really winning the prize is fantastic and a great honor for me. Thank you very much for this award. I wish all of you a wonderful evening. The last of our design awards is for one you can't see, but hopefully you can hear. <laughs> Best sound design. <laughs> Here are the four plus one nominees. Gareth Fry and Pete Malkin, The Encounter. Kingsley Reeve, Buona One Guinea. Michael Waters, My Fair Lady. Tony David Cray, Sydney Opera House, The Opera, The Eighth Wonder. And the award goes to Gareth Fryer and Pete Malkin for The Encounter. <laughs> Gareth Fryer and Pete Malkin can't be here tonight. I'm honoured to accept the award on their behalf this evening. Congratulations to all the winners and nominees. <laughs> to present the Sue Natras Award, please welcome the CEO of the Ambassador Theatre Group, Tim McFarlane. Truth matters. Words matter. These are from George Orwell's book 1984, the subject of a play that's currently touring Australia. And these are principles that this man has always lived by. Rob Bookman's personal, family and professional life are interwoven. He is a complete man. This complete life is reflected by his work in theatre. Theatre is intended to amuse and to make people think and to, to be entertained. The Sue Natris Award is to recognise people who work behind the scenes. From a trainee at the Adelaide Festival Centre to working on the Adelaide Festival, Rob became the festival director of Come Out in 1982-83. Then came a long association with the Adelaide Festival from administrator in 1984 to 1990, associate director from 1988 and 1990 festivals, and then artistic director of the 1992 festival. And in this time, WOMAD Festival was born in Adelaide. Rob was the artistic director. And interwoven in all of this, uh, Rob was the program director and then executive producer of the Adelaide Festival Centre and artistic directorship of the New Zealand International Festival from 1992 to 1994. And in the, managed to also have his own business, Arts Projects, just to make sure that he had enough on. So to continue working behind the scenes, Sydney beckoned uh, and Rob became general manager of the Sydney Theatre Company in 1990, a position that he held in two, two, uh, 2010. 
before returning to South Australia to become the executive director of the State Theatre Company. And to complete the circle, he's now back at the Adelaide Festival as joint executive producer. A remarkable career for a person behind the scenes. Rob is exactly the person the Sue Natras Award was intended for. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Rob Brookman. Thank you. Excuse the uh, husky voice, bit of a virus. Uh, look, I'd like to thank the LPA for this great honour and acknowledge the wonderful Sue Natras. Recognition is nice, uh, but recognition by one's peers from our particular world is even better. I look back with some astonishment at the list of artists that I've been able to help find voice over the last 43 years, and also with astonishment that we so regularly got away with it. This may seem like a curious admission but behind a facade of cheery confidence, I've often been convinced that it was all go to shit any minute. <laughs> Fortunately, the allure of something great happening has always spoken louder than the rising sense of panic. That's what making good art is all about. Reaching for the thing that is just out of sight. The embarking on the journey where the destination is not yet clear. I certainly had no idea where I was going when I started out at the newly minted Adelaide Festival Centre in 1974. The Adelaide of my childhood was white, dull and amateur. The most exciting event imaginable was a visit from the Queen. There was virtually no local, locally made professional performing arts and a career in the arts was a pretty far-fetched idea. Somewhere at age 20, Anthony Steele gave me a job as a trainee administrator. No one knew much about managing the not-for-profit arts. There were no intimidating predecessors, no rule books. The, the tyranny of the KPI had not yet been invented. So we made it up as we went along. And how lucky was I to start out here, a slightly dreamy, ignorant, privileged, white-bred youth, suddenly pitched into the world of ideas, rubbing shoulders with the gloriously exotic. To be frank, I've enjoyed myself so much that I'm sometimes tormented by doubts about the ultimate purpose of what we're doing and worry that it may be self-indulgent. The comfort that I give myself is this. The work of the arts is to build better human beings. The value of what we do lies in the connecting of human to human and culture to culture, the socialization of a species that is subject to Darwinian impulses just as much as any other, the creation of utopian visions while also warning us against ourselves, the valuing of the intangible and the numinous, imagination and creativity, the means by which we shift existing paradigms. When we started Womadelaide, for example, 25 years ago, it wasn't about tourism, it wasn't about the economy, it wasn't about the city's vibrancy nor reputation. It wasn't strategic. It was born of a burning desire to share music and dance from all over the world and a belief that if we experienced and respected each other's cultures, we might help make the community a better one. This is about the imagination of a world that we want to live in, not just the successful navigation of the one that we've got. For me, to have been able to help create such imaginings has been a massive privilege. And to then share that with the widest possible audience, not only a further delight, but an obligation. While it's been a lot about the work, it's also been a lot about the great colleagues and friends. What an argumentative, driven, fun-loving and generous extended family to be part of. And most generous of all have been my real-life family, my clever, gorgeous and loyal life partner Verity and our three talented and beautiful sons who, to our initial apprehension and current delight, have also opted for a life in the theatre. <laughs> Many thanks again for this amazing honour. Thank you. A big hit in Queensland this year was American Idiot, the stage musical adapted from Green Day's 2004 concept album. To sing the power ballad 21 Guns, please welcome Phil Jamieson of Grinspoon and the cast of American Idiot. Oh 
Does it take your breath away And you feel yourself suffocating Does the pain weigh out the pride And you look for a place to hide Did someone break your heart inside You're in ruins One, twenty-one guns Lay down your arms Give up the fight One, twenty-one guns Throw up your arms Into the sky of control when your mind breaks the spirit of your soul your faith walks on broken glass and the hangover doesn't pass nothing to present the Popular Music Awards. Please welcome Jimmy Barnes and Dami M. Evening, Dami, how are you? Good evening, Jimmy. Uh, how are um, you? <laughs> good luck with your nomination tonight. Thanks I very much. I didn't know you sang Cabaret. <laughs> Neither did I. Um, <laughs> I bust out a few show tunes occasionally. I'll be doing a bit of Sondheim later, uh, <laughs> if you're lucky. <laughs> I believe that you've uh, recorded a, a, a song, Will You Love Me Tomorrow, from the album celebrating the fantastic Carol King, the music of Carol King. Yeah, uh, they're just such, such beautiful songs. So. Yeah, well, hopefully we're going to hear one later, are we? 
Maybe. <laughs> Uh, but now we're going to present, sorry, excuse me, I'm no good at this, but now we are going to present the uh, Contemporary Music Awards. Uh, first off, oh my god, this is not going well. Uh, first off, the Heltman Award for Best International Contemporary uh, Concert. Here are the nominees. Well done. Adele and Live Nation Australasia. Adele Live 2017. Live Nation Australasia. Bruce Springsteen and the East Street Band and Frontier Touring. Bruce Springsteen and the East Street Band, Summer 17, Frontier Touring. Patti Smith and Blues Fest Touring. Patti Smith and her band Australian Tour 2017, Blues Fest Touring. PJ Harvey and Billions Australia. PJ Harvey, Billions Australia. the helpman goes to Patti Smith and Blues Fest Touring. Um, it was such a pleasure doing the Patti Smith tour. I'm Kimberly, the touring manager, Jen, publicist for Blues Fest. And we're just part of a big team at Blues Fest who does such an exceptional job. So we're proud to take this home to everyone there. Um, I'd like to thank Patti Smith's team for giving us the honour of promoting her final tour in Australia. And of course, Patti Smith, who came to Australia with her powerful punk rock message of peace, justice, human rights in a time that we really need to hear it. So this goes to Patti Smith. Thank you very much. The next nominees range from Mona in Hobart to Blues in Byron, four great events competing for the best contemporary music festival. Here they are. Mona Foma 2017, Museum of Old and New Art. St. Jerome's Laneway Festival 2017. Lunatic Entertainment and Laneway presents the 28th Annual Blues Fest Byron Bay. The 28th Annual Blues Fest Byron Bay. Woe Adelaide 2017. Woe Adelaide Foundation. And the Heltman Award goes to Museum of Old and New Art. Thank you very much. It is an honor to win in this strong category. We'd like to thank the Mona and Mofo staff Inside Arts, the State of Tasmania, the artists, and the audience for this award. Now, the Heltman Award for Best Australian Contemporary Concert, and the nominees are... Deborah Conway and Willie Ziga with QPAC NFSA, Arts Centre Melbourne, Theatre Royale, Margaret River Cultural Centre and Studio Victor. The beginning and the end. Missy Higgins and Frontier Touring. Missy Higgins Orchestral Concert Series 2016. Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds and Billions Australia. Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds. Flume, Future Classic, Chug Entertainment and Laneway presents Flume. The Bobby has been won by Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds and Billions Australia. On behalf of Paul Sloan, Billions and of course Nick and the Bad Seeds, it's a huge pleasure to accept this award. Recognition of great work is very often overlooked in this fast-moving industry, and so it's very satisfying to be here tonight. Special thanks to Charlotte and everyone in the Billions team, and of course the designers, crew, and suppliers who helped us bring this show to life. Yeah. 
In our next performance, we revisit the world of colorful ancient Arabia, a land of genies, princesses, and flying carpets, where the young hero Aladdin overcomes every difficulty, including the tricky problem of tap dancing on a sand dune. <laughs> to sing a medley from the show, please give a big welcome to the cast of Disney's Aladdin. <laughs> Of routine every hour or so Where Chapman runs rapid Gets wild in the streets Open sesame Here we go See the dervishes That's a ridiculous pants Then romance to your heart's delight Come on down Come on in Let the magic begin It's a love Shining, shimmering, splendid Tell me, princess, now when did you last let your heart decide? I can open your eyes Take you wonder by wonder Over sideways and under on a magic carpet ride A whole new world, a new fantastic Point of view, no one to tell us no or where to go. We say we're only dreaming. A whole new world, a hundred thousand things to see. I'm like a shooting star. I've come so far. I can't go back to where. I'll chase them anywhere There's time to spare Let me share this whole new world with you A whole new world That's where we'll be A thrilling chance For you I'm 
the last song, did you? Mm. <laughs> Come on, kids, you got three wishes. Gentlemen, direct from the Betty Ford Clinic, please welcome showbiz icon, Miss Liza Minnelli. would be allowed into America today. <laughs> and speaking of America, I know what you're all thinking. I do. And yes, it's true. You're thinking, no, not another American performer coming out here to take our jobs. <laughs> But I promise, it is only temporary. And I do have an Australian standby just waiting in the wings. But enough about Trevor Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> Truly, we can't all be winners. Well, I can. I mean, I've got an Oscar, two Tonys, a Grammy. I mean, I mean, hell, I've got more awards than anybody. <laughs> Except for Sue Natras. She gets a helpman every year. <laughs> now, the first category is about all of the people who make us laugh. The ladies and gentlemen who drink themselves silly for 30 days through the Melbourne International Comedy Festival. If you're lucky, you might catch them doing their act, doing their hour of stand-up at 5 a.m. on Swanston Street. <laughs> That's when they're the funniest. <laughs> and the nominees... Oh. Auntie Donna, Big Boys. Hannah Gadsby, Nanette. Joel Creasy, Poser. Nazim Hussain, Public Frenemy, Nazim Hussain. Sammy J, Hero Complex. Tom Ballard, Problematic. And the Emmy, I mean the, the Helpman, goes to... 
head against me. <laughs> Hannah is a three-time Helpman Award nominee. This is her first win. She was also winner of the Barry Award at the Melbourne Comedy Festival this year. Thank you. That's uh, perfect music for me. <laughs> Um, I talk too slowly to thank everyone I need to before the music <laughs> kicks in here, so apologies. Um, I'll thank my parents first of all. You did a wonderful job, you're wonderful parents. You gave me a wonderful start to life, but not so good that I couldn't sustain a career in comedy. <laughs> I uh, thank uh, the people who've supported me, my uh, management team, Disco, CAF, Rowan, Erin, Helen, there's some others, but uh, gosh. <laughs> Nobody's interested. <laughs> thank you very much. award is for best regional touring production. When I was married to Peter Allen, he asked me if he could go on a regional tour. I told him he could visit Tasmania and that was it. <laughs> the nominations are... Counter Move, Sydney Dance Company and Arts on Tour. Terrain, Bangara Dance Theatre. The Moon's a Balloon, Patch Theatre Company. They saw a thylacine, human animal exchange and performing lines. And the Oscar goes to Bangara Dance Theater to reign. Thanks, Liza. Uh, uh, first off, uh, I'd like to thank the Helpmans and also um, Arts on Tour and all the uh, re regional venues out there who organise and put, put it in their program. To Bangara Dance Theatre, all of our management um, who put this together. Uh, Francis Rings, the choreographer. To all the dancers in 2012 that uh, first originally did this work. To all the creative team, uh, Jennifer Karen, Jake, and my late brother, David Page, who created this music. Um, yeah, thank you. The next category, the next category means something very special to me. It's the best cabaret performer. Now, cabaret performers, they need very little. Just like in a chorus line, all they need is the music and the beer. The same with me. A small mirror I can fit inside my purse and take into the bathroom. <laughs> Here are the young, wide-eyed nominees for Best Cabaret Performer! <laughs> Betty Grumble, Grumble, Sex Clown Saves the World. Hope Me, Juanita Duncan, Ofa for Two, Crystal Stacy, Alexis West, Genoa Gila, Lisa Falafi, and Kim Busty Beats Bowers. Hot Brown Honey. Jimmy Barnes, Working Class Boy, An Evening of Stories and Songs. Sven Ratsky, Starman. Oh, I can't wait. Okay. The Logie goes to. Hope Honey, Juanita Duncan, Overfoto, Crystal Stacy, Alexis Smith, Genoa Galar, Lisa Flaffalani, and my team, Musty Beach Bowers. Hot Brown Honey! Now, Hot Brown Honey can't be with us tonight, so I'm thrilled to pop this in my cupboard with all the rest of my awards. Thank you so much, good night! Oh. To present the award for Best Presentation for Children, please welcome Penny Cook. I'm 
afraid I fell into a vat of eyelashes backstage, so my glasses don't fit, so I can't read the order cue. I am proud chair of a young people's theatre company, Monkey Bar. It was started by Eva, Sandy and Tim when they were practically babies. We turn 21 next year. We're not nominated tonight, but you know it doesn't matter because we, like everybody in this room, want to give audiences the best. We respect our audiences and we want them to see themselves represented on stage. The difference is our audience are young people. We sometimes in this sector feel that we are made to sit at the young people's children's table. That's okay, we get to get fairy bread and fizzy drink. <laughs> but it is really exciting when we're included in the conversation. And it's really exciting when we're given or offered an adult glass of fizzy drink. <laughs> the nominees in tonight's children's presentation are... Sharita Anouk, Child Story. Polyglot Theatre and Paper Moon Puppet Theatre, presented by Art Centre Melbourne and Asia Topa. In a deep, dark forest, the inhabitants in Art Centre Melbourne. Jump First, Ask Later. Powerhouse Youth Theatre and Force Majeure. New owner, The Last Great Hunt. Someone before said, don't get it wrong like they did in the Oscars. I am old, but I won't. Well, unless they've handed me the wrong envelope. <laughs> the Helpman Award goes to Powerhouse Youth Theatre and Force Majeure, Jump First, Ask Later. Uh, Karen Therese from Powerhouse Youth Theatre, um, the Artistic Director, and representing Force Majeure, our partner. Um, and I'd like to firstly acknowledge the wonderful human being and artist Byron Perry, who directed our work, and also our young performers, or, who are all six young people from Western Sydney, um, from the Dauntless Movement crew, whose stories and performances made up this work and they are fantastic, and they're first and second generation Australians, and they represent a true uh, contemporary Australia, um, which is a diverse Australia. I'd like to thank our presenting partners, the Sydney Opera House, Arts Centre Melbourne and Adelaide Festival Centre. Uh, we're a small theatre company in Western Sydney, but we have huge aspirations and really transforming uh, you know, the culture in Australia to, to acknowledge a more contemporary Australia. And um, we thank you for this award very much. Thanks so much. Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, when I first joined Australian Dance Theatre as the artistic director in 1999, I was lucky enough to work with an amazing dancer, Tanya Lidka. Tanya was a stunning dancer and an extraordinary person. She beamed with unrelenting creativity and she possessed, in equal measure, an extraordinary passion for her work, her friends, her family and her adventure through life. At just age 29, she was offered the role of artistic director of Sydney Dance Company. And just as she was about to take up this role, she was tragically killed in a road accident, devastating us all. To mark the 10th anniversary of Tanya's passing, Australian Dance Theatre, with the generous support of the Tanya Lidka Foundation, are remounting her final work, a little gem titled Construct, which will be performing at the Adelaide Festival Centre later this year. The work was originally created with two of her beloved colleagues, Christina Chan and Paul White, together with the endless support of her partner and artistic collaborator, Sol Ulbrich. Construct is about how we build a life. 
how we build a family and a home, and how after building it up, it can all somehow come falling apart. But what remains is the imprint of its history through the relationships we have forged over time. Tonight, ADT is very proud to perform an excerpt from Tanya Lidka's Construct.
and so to our dance awards. The first is for best visual or physical theatre production, and the nominees are. Moo moo moo, chunky move. Next move by Nicola Gunn and Joe Lloyd. Sediment, Company Two. Snake Sessions, Branch Nebula, produced by Intimate Spectacle, toured by Arts on Tour. Still Life, Dimitri Papa Ieno, presented by Sydney Festival. And the winner of this year's Helpman Award is Branch Nebula, produced by Intimate Spectacle, toured by Arts on Tour. We're a long way away from a skate park. <laughs> I mean, um, what we do is in a skate park with people that actually do the thing. They're not pretending to do the thing. They're actually BMXers and skaters and people that do free running and dance. And it's so great to be able to acknowledge um, the rich and incredibly virtuosic culture that's happening in skate parks. And I just really want to say thank you to the communities that embraced us um, while we were uh, developing this work. So I'm talking about Rockdale, Dubbo, Nowra, uh, Pinjara, Adelaide, Warrnambool, Wyala, Gold Coast and Bordertown. And thank you so much to all those communities. And we also really want to thank all our performers, the BMXers that work with us, skaters, free runners, the dancers and live drummers as well. And we really want to thank our producer, Harley Stam, for making this all happen for us. Thank you. And so to the best dance production. This category embraces a wider range of dance styles in the ballet, which gets its own award later on. Here are the four nominees. Attractor, Dance North and Lucy Guerin Inc. With Art Centre Melbourne, Ata Tapa, Rome Adelaide and Brisbane Festival. Intimate Space, Restless Dance Theatre in association with Adelaide Festival. Our Land People Stories, Bangara Dance Theatre, Split, Lucy Guerin Inc. and Arts House. Uh, all amazing shows. Uh, and the helpman goes to Dance North and Lucy Guerin Inc. with Arts Centre Melbourne, Asia Topa, Wome Adelaide and Brisbane Festival for a tractor. Thank you so much. This is incredibly unexpected. So I've got a blank piece of paper in my pocket I was going to write some notes on before I came up. I haven't done that. Uh, we'd like to thank David Berthold uh, from Brisbane Festival, Stephen Armstrong from Asia Topa, Ian Scobie from Wom Adelaide, all the amazing partners who helped get the show up and running. I think this show is an extraordinary uh, example of what can happen in the arts when we come together. And Dance North, collaborating with Lucy Guerin, Inc., collaborating with Gideon Obazanek, collaborating with Senyawa, Together we've created, created something that is truly greater than the sum of its parts and it's been an absolute treasure of a work to perform in and to uh, take a major role in. Thanks to Lucy and Gid for making it. It's been an extraordinary, extraordinary journey. And also just thank you very much to Kyle and Dance, Work, Dance North and to the amazing dancers of Dance North. They did an amazing job. So, congratulations to all the winners. And now's pl now please welcome to the stage two incredible gentlemen of dance, the artistic directors of the Australian Ballet and Bangara Dance Theatre, David McAllister and Stephen Page. That's what we're gonna do, dance now. <laughs> we could. Um, so much exciting choreography is created in this country. 
And let's not forget these awards are named after a great Australian pioneer in this field. Our next award is Best Choreography or for a Ballet, Dance or Physical Theatre Production. Here are the nominees. Darcy Grant with Jacob Randall. Yasha Boyce, Simon McClure, Lachlan Binns, Mika Lizotte, Louis West, Martin Schreiber, Joanne Curry, Lachlan Harper, Jackson Manson, Tritton Tunis Mitchell, and Lewis Rankin, Backbone. Gabrielle Nankiewicz, Wildebeest. Gideon Obezanik and Lucy Gurin, Attractor. Lucy Gurin, Split. And the helpman goes to Gideon Obazanik and Lucy Guerin. Oh, wow. Two in a row. Um, again, I I'd really love to thank uh, Dance North and Lucy Guerin, Inc. Lucy Guerin. Um, also, the 20, um, the, the 20 participants who come on every night uh, to be in the show who have never seen the show, who, become, uh, who are the bigger cast than the actual cast on stage. Um, and um, to, the, uh, to Asia Topa, particularly to Stephen Armstrong, Ian Scobie, David Berthold for being so steadfast with their support. Thank you very much. And, um, well, it's a little bit similar to the last speech, but um, uh, this was a hugely collaborative work, as Carl said earlier, and I just want to say a huge thank you to the Dance North dancers again. <laughs> to Senyawa, Ben Bosco Shaw, Harriet Oxley, and first in last out. Thank you. And now the award for Best Choreography in a Musical. One of our nominees has been nominated for two separate productions, and there can only be one winner, so if he wins, he'll still lose. <laughs> uh, and the nominees are... Casey Nicolau, Aladdin. Casey Nicolau, The Book of Mormon. Christopher Gatelli, My Fair Lady. Jerry Mitchell, Kinky Boots. And the Helpman Award goes to Jerry Mitchell, Kinky Boots. Hey, I just want to say thank you to the Helpman Awards and Michael Castle and everybody at the Capitol Theatre who's performing in Kinky Boots. It's a great honour to win this award for Best Choreography. Now to the people who transform a choreographer's vision into three dimensions, the dancers. I know a lot about that. Here are the nominations for Best Male Dancer in a Ballet, Dance or Physical Theatre production. Andre Santos, Beauty and the Beast. Benjamin Hancock, The Dark Chorus. Bernhard Kanawa, Wildebeest. Kevin Jackson, Nijinsky. And the winner of the Helpman is Kevin Jackson for Nijinsky. Kevin Jackson is a printable artist of the Australian Ballet. This is Kevin's first Helpman Award. Uh, firstly, thank you to the Helpmans for this acknowledgement. Truly, I'm honoured just to be surrounded uh, by the industry's best and to be a part of a night that pays tributes to arts in Australia. To my fellow nominees, I admire and respect each and every one of you. I would like to thank David McAllister for his continued support of my 15-year career and for obtaining this incredible work. Thank you to choreographer John Newmeyer for entrusting the Australian Ballet and myself to share his beloved Nijinsky to the Australian audiences. I would like to thank my fellow dancers, coaches and crew at the Australian Ballet for supporting me both on and off stage in this unforgettable time. 
Vazlov Nijinsky's story is one of incredible highs and devastating lows, and to have the opportunity to explore his life through the eyes of John Newmar was a huge honour. The role pushed me to physically and dramatically to places I had craved but never thought possible. I'm extremely grateful for this. Thank you. And now for equally brilliant nominations for the best female dancer in a dance or physical theatre work. Here they are. Ilma Chris, Nyapa Nyapa. Lillian Steiner, Split. Melanie Lane, Split. Samantha Hines, Attractor. And the helping goes to Lillian Steiner. It's a huge honour to be nominated alongside three amazing women and performers. I have to give a huge thank you to Lucy Guerin for teaching and challenging me so much over the last few years and continuing to include me in the great work that you make. Also, I have to thank Melanie Lane. Dancing beside you in this work was an absolute dream. Making a performing split was an intimate experience and I can't imagine two better people to have experienced it with. So thank you to you both and thank you to the Helpman Awards for this recognition. Please welcome the CEO of Media Super, Graham Russell. Uh, every year we take a moment to say farewell to members of our industry whose work has uh, enthralled and delighted us. To accompany our memorial roll tonight, we'll hear the lovely setting of Lux Turner uh, by the Australian composer and pianist uh, Sally Whitwell performed by the wonderful Sydney Children's Choir.
please welcome to the stage Richard Mills and Emma Matthews. We're here to present the awards for classical music performance. And Emma, mm -hmm. you're about to play one of our best known classical performers, Dame Nelly Melba. Yes, at the Hayes Theatre. I don't think Melba ever played that room. Actually, it's a new Australian musical, and I reckon Nelly would have been bloody proud. And today you've been announced as the new head of classical voice at the West Australian Academy of Performing Arts. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Richard. Thank you. Our first award is for Best Individual Classical Performance. The nominees are... Christoph von Dopnanyi. Romantic Memories. Dopnanyi conducts Bruckner. Daniil Trifonov. Young Russians. Prokofiev. Rachmaninoff. And Shostakovich. Joshua Bell. Academy of St. Martin in the Fields. Richard Tonietti, Bach Violin Concertos. And the award goes to Joshua Bell, Academy of St. Martin in the Fields. We accept the award on his behalf. Oh, he can't be here tonight. We are pleased to accept the award on his behalf. <laughs> <laughs> Expanding the number of players, and now we move into the Best Chamber or Instrumental Ensemble Award. Here are the nominees. Academy of St. Martin in the Fields. Academy of St. Martin in the Fields, Melbourne Recital Centre, Sydney Opera House and QPAC. Bach Violin Concertos, Australian Chamber Orchestra. Yulia Leshneva, Baroque Brilliance, Australian Chamber Orchestra. Monteverdi, Lofeo, Concerto Italiano and Adelaide Festival. And the helpman goes to... Academy of St. Martin in the Fields, Melbourne Recital Centre, Sydney Opera House and QPAC. Academy of St. Martin in the Fields. On behalf of Joshua Bell and the Academy of St. Martin in the Fields, thank you for this wonderful honour. My name is Alan Watt and I'm the Chief Executive of the Academy of St. Martin in the Fields. As an Australian, I know just how important the Helpman Awards are at celebrating the rich vitality of performing arts in Australia. Our concerts there were a real highlight for the orchestra, and we're so grateful for the support, engagement, and enthusiasm of the audiences. They were fantastic concerts, and we were thrilled to be there. It's so rewarding to see how strong classical music is in Australia. Thank you to the Melbourne Recital Centre, Queensland Performing Arts Centre Trust, and the Sydney Opera House for making these concerts possible. We had a wonderful time, and we'd love to come back. Thank you very much. And finally, to our symphony orchestras. Three of our finest orchestras make up the nominations for Best Symphony Orchestra Concert. Here they are. Asher Fish conducts Resurrection, West Australian Symphony Orchestra. Stemmer, Skelton, Tristan and Isolde, Tasmanian Symphony Orchestra. The Firebird, Ravishing, Sydney Symphony Orchestra. The Rite of Spring Primal, Sydney Symphony Orchestra. And the Bobby goes to Tasmania Symphony Orchestra. <laughs> Stamen, Stuart Skelton, Tristan and his older. Who would have thought we could get two of the world's greatest Wagner singers to Hobart? But we did. And getting them there, we also brought an audience, most of which came from interstate. But the thing that was most thrilling was, under Marco Latonia, our chief conductor, the TSO played like the greatest Wagner orchestra in the world. Thank you, LPA. Richard Mills 
and Emma Matthews. Oh, thank you. That's my walk on music, but I'm already here. Okay. <laughs> so, um, thank you anyway, Vanessa. Lovely. Um, so, now, just, I just wanted to say, though, um, Emma is actually a former student of mine. Uh, I just wanted to say that because I'm so proud of her. She did one of my most popular workshops, Female Genitalia and its relationship to the music of Rodgers and Hammerstein. <laughs> oh, I will never, ever forget her medley of three songs, A Cock-Eyed Optimist, <laughs> Bloody Mary, and It's a Real Nice Clam Bake. <laughs> it was really confronting stuff. <laughs> now, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Seems some people are interested. Um, <laughs> ladies, if you do come, just bring a hand mirror. Um, now, <laughs> for many, the Heltman, something serious now. Now, for many, the Heltmans can be a difficult time. If you haven't been nominated and maybe you're just watching this at home in your pyjamas, or even if you were nominated and you came here, you're all dressed up and everything, you know, and you're pretending you're successful and then you just lost, you know. Uh, so, the organisers asked me to use some of my musical therapy skills, which I use at the Menagee Scout Hall in Voi Voi, where I've done my workshops, and I've helped literally tens of people. Um, <laughs> very proud of that. Um, just to help you guys, you know, at home, uh, the people that have lost tonight, or the losers still to come. Uh, <laughs> just to help you through those difficult emotions. So, this is my song for you. Now I sing a song for my idealistic friends who are not content to be earthbound but are waiting for their star. Now I sing a song for my sweet starry eyed friends who are born of dreams just like a child and are waiting for their saviour from afar. This song's for you If you're sure there's no height Too high to climb This song's for you If you're sure there's nothing you can't do No goal too evasive to pursue This song's for you You're not gonna make it You're not gonna make it. <laughs> All that idle daydreaming will turn you into a slob. You're not gonna make it. <laughs> You're not gonna make it. Ooh. Get a job. You do have to be a realistic. I'm just walking back here because there was a microphone here before. Um, so, <laughs> look, you have to be realistic, guys. Not everybody can become Daryl Summers, all right? <laughs> now, the next award is for Best Original Score, and the nominations are... Ian Grandage and Rahiyu Sapanga, Satan Jawa, Paul Kelly and Camille O'Sullivan, with Fergal Murray, Ancient Rain, Rally Shibara and Wilkir Suyadi, Attractor. Trey Parker, Matt Stone and Robert Lopez, The Book of Mormon. And the lucky winner chicken dinner is <gasps> Ian Grandich and Rahu Sapunya, Satan Jawa. Amongst many industry awards, Ian Grandich has won two Helpmans and is Honorary Research Fellow at the University of Western Australia Take School of Music. Parker. Um, 
I mean, really, what a privilege to share, um, to share a, a group of nominees like that. What a privilege to get to make art um, with uh, artists the calibre of Rahoyu Sapanga and Garan Nogroho. What a privilege to be supported by people like Carilla Gantner and the Sydney Maya Fund, who have created in Asia Topa, in that festival, work that speaks to all of Australia and, and what we might be in this region and where we might go. Um, what a privilege to get to make music and conduct the Melbourne Symphony Orchestra. Um, Ronald Vermeulen and Sophie Gillays, thank you so much. The MSO gave so much in the process of making this. I'm going to take this um, to, to Stephen Armstrong and, and oh, damn. Stephen Armstrong and Kate Bentovum. Um, I'm going to take this and stick it in a um, stick it in a rice paddy where Rahuyo Supanga lives, and it can be a, a memory of his beautiful time here in Australia. Thank you. Oh, Vanessa is so sweet. She says sorry to them as she starts. Oh, it's lovely. Now. She goes, sorry, sorry. Now, for the people who bring the score to life eight shows a week, or two if it's opera, here are the nominees. <laughs> Shh. Chong Lim, Rolling Thunder, Vietnam. Erin Hilliard, Saul. Luke Hunter, Kinky Boots. Nicolette Frion, Nijinsky. to Erin Halyard for Saul. This is Erin Halyard's second Helpman Award. Erin is currently Senior Lecturer at the Melbourne Conservatorium of Music. Uh, what a great, great honour. I'd just like to first thank uh, Rachel Healy, Neil Armfield and the Adelaide Festival and all the institutions that support uh, that wonderful festival for their vision in putting in this extraordinary work. Uh, the cast was a dream one. Uh, uh, everyone stepped up to Barry Kosky's extraordinary vision for this piece, um, including the uh, Adelaide Symphony Orchestra. It was a great honour to conduct them. Uh, I'd particularly like to thank Donna Stirrup, the revival director, um, and all the wonderful support team that came out from Glyndebourne. Um, I'd also like to... Uh, to acknowledge Barry Kosky, one of the great geniuses. It's been a real lifetime uh, achievement to work with him. Uh, the last person I'd like to thank is my assistant music director, uh, my dear friend Brett Waymark, who was chorus master and assistant conductor on the show. This award is yours just as it is mine. Thank you. over the relay baton uh, to another great presenter. I forgot this bit. <laughs> uh, this man, well, I've done a pretty good job so far, so come on, guys. Um, <laughs> one mistake. This man, now this man was the Ford, former Federal Minister for Science and Technology, and he is three things you would never think you'd hear in one sentence. He's a lawyer, a social activist, and a TV quiz champion. <gasps> Please welcome the Honourable Barry Jones. Blaise Pascal once wrote, this is a long letter, because I didn't find the time to write a short one. And trying to compress the achievements of Richard Tognetti into a two-minute tribute is a daunting challenge. But I was honoured to have been asked to present him with the J.C. Williamson Award. Richard is one of the most outstanding musicians in Australian history. He's won international recognition. But he's not only a virtuoso violinist, perhaps the finest ever produced in this wide brown land, but he's an interpreter of transcendent gifts. His interpretations of Bach, the most challenging music in the Western tradition, ranks with the greatest artists of our time. It makes us experience the world in a new way and to explore our own 
inner space. He's recorded the entire Bach repertoire for solo violin. He's directed the Australian Chamber Orchestra since 1989. Appointed at the age of 25, he's proved to be a leader of extraordinary gifts. The ACO is often described as the finest chamber music orchestra in the world, and it's made repeated overseas tours. As a conductor, his repertoire is very extensive, from Baroque through to the classical period on to high romanticism into the 20th and 21st centuries. He's passionate, confronting, often disturbing. Richard grew up in Wollongong, where his father was a professor of mathematics and his mother a passionate activist on many causes. He had the great good fortune to study there with William Primrose, regarded for years as the world's outstanding violist. And Primrose had played and recorded chamber music with Yasha Heifetz, the most phenomenal violinist of his age. And Heifetz and Tonietti have in common that their favorite violin was made by Goineri del Gesù. Richard Tonietti is also a composer and arranger of genius, an innovative filmmaker and an expert surfer with a powerful commitment to great causes, especially preserving the environment. He's been a passionate promoter of work by Australian composers and active in discovering and mentoring new talent. He's been deeply involved with ANAM, the Australian National Academy of Music. His long, exquisite duet with Satu Vanska is beautiful, exciting, and deeply moving. He became an Australian Living National Treasure in 1999, was awarded an AO in 2010, and has received several honorary doctorates. He's a very worthy recipient of the J.C. Williamson Award. Please welcome to the stage maestro Richard Tonietti. This is indeed, thank you, this is indeed a, a great honour, but I'd like to honour the, the three Barrys tonight, Barry Humphreys, Barry Jones and Barry Tuckwell. A diverse range of intellects, but their bonds cohere my thoughts tonight. Two of these three Bs are best are past recipients of this award. Someone suggested Mr Humphreys could possibly present this award to me. But given that when asked what presents he gave the couple at Rupert Murdoch's wedding to Jerry Hall, Barry said, jumper leads and a picture of David Beckham. <laughs> I thought that possibly it was uh, fortunate that he was otherwise occupied. <laughs> so I'm thrilled to have the incomparably great Barry Jones out of those humbling words. Another classical musician, actually the only one, on the list of J.C. Williamson winners was the third B, Barry Tuckwell, whose award I presented in 2007. Barry T was the French horn soloist on my inaugural international tour with the Australian Chamber Orchestra in 1990. And hearing him perform and standing with him as we performed Mozart's second horn concerto in the Musikverein in Vienna, was one of the highlights of my career without any question. This award offers me also the chance to honour my close colleagues. Playing music is about collaboration. And it's not just my allies in the ACO, the Australian Chamber Orchestra, Orchestra that I'd like to honour, but also those who live and work on the other side of the artistic fence. Michael Lunig, Bill Henson, Neil Finn, Jim Magini, Brian Ritchies, Barry Humphreys, Joseph Tawadras, Steve Pigram, Mark Atkins, William Barton, Joseph Tawadras, 
Neil Armfill and Nigel Jamison in our project of Gallipoli, Ian Grandage, surfers Derek Hine, John Frank and Mick Sarri in our surf movies, and most recently Jen Pedem and Renan Ozturk in Mountain. And we commissioned one of Brett Dean's first pieces, Carlo. When I was a student, like many, we would follow in the footsteps of Jermaine Greer, Humphreys, Clive James, etc., and buy a one-way ticket to somewhere over the big lake, US, UK, or Europe. Having little intention of returning, some of us guilty, lined with pockets of money, Australian money, of scholarships of Australian money. Now the ACO has Finns, Quebecois, Japanese, Poms, Slovenians, Ukrainian, Israelis, and they have all improbably uprooted and relocated themselves and bought one-way tickets to join us. Their cultural fabric is a part of our existence. Some in the ACO do originate from here, including places such as Mackay, Canberra, and Wollongong. And the gong is where I was culturally fertilised by a steady diet of meatloaf. <laughs> Indeed, I thank meatloaf for turning me on to Mozart, Beethoven and Bach, for I was desperate to listen to anything else. <laughs> I'd like to finish with a poem by Clive James, and I'm aware that reading a poem at an awards ceremony runs the risk of inciting violence, but Jack Barry did say that I could be somewhat disturbing. So, in Sydney Harbour, the yachts will be racing on the crushed diamond water under the sky, the texture of powdered sapphires. It would be churlish not to concede that the same abundance of natural blessings which gave us the energy to leave has every right to call us back. Thank you. Still to come, the winners of Best Opera, Play, Ballet and Musical, as well as performances from Beautiful, the Carol King Musical, My Fair Lady and Marsha Hines in Velvet. You are watching the 2017 Helpman Awards, presented live in Sydney. Sensation Beautiful, the Carol King musical opens at the Sydney Lyric Theatre this September. Discover the inspirational true story behind Carol King's remarkable rise from teenage songwriter to global superstar. Featuring the incredible hits Natural Woman, Will You Love Me Tomorrow, You've Got a Friend, and many more. Book now at Ticketmaster. Beautiful, a tribute to Carole King. An incredible new album celebrating one of the world's most influential singer-songwriters. Featuring a collection of her biggest hits sung by some of Australia's most loved singers, including Daryl Braithwaite, Dami Im and Human Nature. Beautiful, a tribute to Carole King. Available on CD and online. Fast. Powered by Uncle.
Uncle Toby's Oats Quick Sachets. Attention! Lloyd's Auctions are holding more completely unreserved art auctions, including Pro Heart, Jasper Knight, Archibald winning artist Wendy Sharp and Adam Cullen, including original David Bromley's acrylic and gold leaf painting and Pro Heart's original oil painting, all starting at $1. No reserve. Bid online now. Original and collaborative Aboriginal artworks and rare antiques and collectibles, all completely unreserved. Bid now at lloydsauctions.com.au. Starts this Tuesday through to Thursday. Call Lloyd's Auctions now for inquiries or to put your artwork in our next auction. Naughty? No. Mm. They're more teasers. Yeah. <laughs> more teasers, the lighter way to enjoy chocolate. The Caboodle Kitchen is where life really happens. And if after a while you feel like something new, replacing an old kitchen's bench top is an easy way to quickly refresh your existing space. Discover your own Caboodle bench top swap at your local Bunnings warehouse. Bedtime. Good night, Doris. <laughs> the big banks want to get their hands on your super. And they're putting pressure on our federal politicians to let them in. <laughs> banks aren't super. Authorised by D. Whiteley for Industry Super Australia, Melbourne. Introducing something new from Maltesers. Crunchy mini Maltesers in a smooth and creamy honeycomb flavoured centre and coated in delicious chocolate. Find them in the ice cream aisle. Cruise Europe's rivers in style for less. Evergreen's 15-day deluxe river cruise from only 5595. Early bird deals won't last long. Hurry, call your Evergreen expert today. There's a suitcase washed up. There's human hair coming from the inside. Detective Griffin. Pleased to be back. I'd like to say thank you. Your baby has been loved by me very much. Mary's boyfriend. He is dangerous. Once you choose this path, no going back. Top of the Lake, China Girl. Starts August 20 on BBC First. This is the 2017 Helpman Awards, presented live in Sydney. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. You're watching the 2017 Helpman Awards live on Foxtel Arts. Now, please welcome our next presenters, the Artistic Director of Opera Australia, Lyndon Terracini, and APRA AMCOS Ambassador Kate Miller Heidke. So, Kate, it's two years since you won a Helpman for the Rabbits. That's right. Well, what's next up for you? I'm uh, working on the musical of Muriel's Wedding. Ah, yeah. wow. Another new Australian musical, so they're not, um, they're not endangered anymore? Well, no, let's hope not. So, our first operatic award tonight is for Best Male Performer in a Supporting Role in an Opera. Here are the nominees. Daniel Sumegi, The Ring Cycle. Jose Carbo, Cavalleria Rusticana and Pagliacci. Canaan Breen, Saul. Samir Pagu, King Roger. And the Helpman Award goes to... Canaan Breen! <laughs> One of Australia's most sought-after operatic tenors, this is Canaan's first Helpman Award. He wins for his performance in the opera, Saul. Thank you. Thank you. I was praying I'd win this because I'm busting for a piss and I think the only way you can get out of here is to get one, so thank God. Uh, am I the only one? <sighs> now I'm wasting time. I want to thank, of course, first and foremost, uh, Barry Kosky. Uh, he, he is a wonderful man and a genius. Neil and Rachel, thank you for, for bringing Saul to, uh, from Glyndebourne to Adelaide. Wonderful. Aaron and Brett, wonderful musicians to work for. Uh, the, the cast were extraordinary. Christopher Purvis's uh, performance of Saul was to be believed, if you were lucky enough to see it. Um, 
I'm very grateful. I'm a bit nervous, actually. I really need a wee. Um, so I'll go. But Jackie Dark wanted me to thank her for lending me her big sloppy tits. So I hope you're happy that I've said that. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. And now for the best female performer in a supporting role. Again, one of our nominees had to sing a role in Polish. That's true. There should be an award just for that. <laughs> there should, Kate. And the nominees are... Anna Dowsley, Kosi Fantuti, Caitlin Holker, Teodora, Lorena Gore, King Roger, Taran Fiebig, Kosi Fantuti. Award goes to Lorena Gore. Yes. A principal artist with Opera Australia, soprano Lorena Gore wins the Helpman for her role in Szymanowski's opera King Roger. Thank you. So it seems there is an award for singing in Polish. <laughs> Um, thank you to the LPA and everyone who voted. Um, it's an honour to be considered along three other wonderful Australian artists. I think you're all marvellous. Um, I'd like to thank Opera Australia for entrusting me with such uh, an extraordinary role. Uh, to my agent, Alex, thank you. You're marvellous. I love you. Um, and last but not least, to my son, Joshua, and my husband, Jonathan. Your support is everything, and I'm a better performer because of it. Thank you so much. Thank you, Kate, and good luck with Muriel's wedding. Um, I hope it has a good re reception. Uh, Joke. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, well, thank you. I didn't write it. <laughs> to present the next awards with me, I'm proud to introduce a legend of the Australian operatic stage. In fact, an award for young singers has been named after her. So please welcome to the stage the legendary Joan Carden. <laughs> delighted to be here um, and um, I'm delighted to be anywhere after a show. <laughs> <laughs> so the award for the uh, best male performer in an opera, uh, well here are the nominees. Yes. Christopher Purves, Sol. George Patain, Simone Bocanegra. Michael Honeyman, King Roger. Yong Hoon Lee, Carmen. And the helpman goes to Christopher Purves. So. Good evening to you all at the Helpman Awards in Sydney. As I'm sure you're aware, opera is a collaborative effort, and I wouldn't have been recognised in this category if it weren't for the brilliance and dedication of the orchestra and chorus of South Australian Opera, for the most wonderful dance team in the whole wide world, for the sensitive conducting of Erin Halyard, for the peerless group of other soloists, and for the extraordinary talent and genius that is Barry Kosky and his superlative design team. We had the time of our lives, and I hope you're having the time of yours in Sydney. Thanks very much indeed, and good night. So the next award is for the best female performer in an opera. One of these four terrific singers is nominated for Tosca, a sig signature role of yours, Joan. Well, I'm very partial to Tosca, except for the big leap off the parapet, parapet in Act Three. So is it you who hit the trampoline and came back up again? Oh, it's been done before. <laughs> so here are the nominees. Antoinette Halloran, Tosca. Lise Lindstrom, The Ring Cycle. Nicole Carr, Cosi Fantuti. Rachel Durkin, Amida. And the helpman goes to Lisa Lindstrom for The Ring Cycle. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for this amazing honor. 
I am so honored to win the Helpman Award uh, for the Melbourne Ring in 2016. Opera Australia has brought me to Australia twice, and I'm deeply honored to be part of the arts environment in Australia. The Ring Cycle is something that doesn't happen with one person alone. I was surrounded by a team of dedicated professionals, and I gratefully accept this award on behalf of everyone involved. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, please thank Joan Carden for being with us tonight. Thank you, Joan. And now the Heltman Award for the Best Direction of an Opera. And here are the nominees. Barry Kosky. Saul. Damiano Michelato. Cavalleria Rusticana and Pagliacci. Gail Edwards. Cloud Street. Sir David McVicker. Cosi Fantuti. Well, this is a surprise, and the award goes to Barry Kosky. Hi, everyone. Uh, Barry can't be with us tonight. He's incredibly apologetic about that. His opening Master Singers of Nuremberg in uh, Bay 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 Roy, uh in 24 hours. Um, he wanted to thank his incredible creative team and performers, many of whom have been nominated and won awards tonight. Also the magnificent State Opera of South Australia Chorus, which he said was better than Glyndebourne, go the home team, and a magnificent Adelaide Symphony Orchestra led by Erin Helliard. He also wanted to thank all the staff at the Adelaide Festival for all their incredible hard work. Thanks. Beautiful is a musical about the life and songs of Carol King. The show will have its Australian premiere in Sydney in September and features an incredible Australian cast. Here to present a number from Beautiful, the Carol King musical, please welcome Damie Im and the lead of Beautiful, the very beautiful Esther Hannaford. Tonight you're mine Completely You give your love So sweetly Tonight The light Of love Is in your eyes But will Nothing to do but watch the past 
From the play that goes wrong and My Fair Lady, please welcome Brooke Satchwell and Charles Edwards. Good evening. We're here to present the awards for best male and best female actor in a play. What? Sorry, I thought we were presenting costume design. Mm, no. No, I had a whole bit prepared about my dress and the power of cloth. I... Nope. No, we've, we've, done, we've done that award. They, okay, sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. I, I, missed, um, I missed rehearsals. I, I thought it was at the Capitol. Yeah, this is the Capitol. It is. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Brooke, how long have you been doing uh, the play that goes wrong? Too long, obviously. Mm. Here are the nominees for the best male actor in a play. Colin Friels, Faith Healer. Jason Chong, Chimerica. Jason Clarwine, Once in Royal David City. Mark Cole Smith, The Drover's Wife. Oh, sorry, should I say who the winner is? Yeah, yes. I think it would probably serve to break the tension. And the Helpman Award goes to Mark Cole Smith, yeah! The Drover's Wife. Born in Broome, Mark is a graduate of Whopper who's received two actor nominations for his film and TV work. This is Mark's first Heldman. Well, you, uh, you know what they say, big award, big performance. <laughs> no, I'd like to pay my respects to the other nominees in my category. Um, I was once just like you. <laughs> but, uh, more truthfully, the driver's wife was a reminder that I've had uh, the good fortune to learn under the company of some very strong women. Now you kuya, now you marawara, first and foremost, my mother. Your heart is my heart and everything I am I owe to you. So I love you very much, my Um My director, Letitia, I wouldn't have been involved in this project if it wasn't for you. And so I wouldn't be standing here if it wasn't for you. Uh, you are one of the most invested directors I've ever worked with. I look forward to working with you in the future. I look forward to partying with you tonight. <laughs> Leah Purcell, damn, what a woman. Long may your voice cut through the collected silence of our country's history. I love you, your legacy. Bus, bus, stay deadly, enjoy your night. And now for the best female actor in a play for wonderful, wonderful performances, no doubt ably and capably assisted by their costumes. I'm the sure. nominees are... <laughs> Alison White, Faith Healer. Helen Morse, John. K. 
Kate Mulvaney, Richard III, Leah Purcell, the drover's wife. And the Helpman Award goes to Kate Mulvaney, Richard III. Kate Mulvaney is an award-winning actor, director and writer who has won many awards for her work, including the Philip Parsons Award and the Patrick White Award for playwriting. Oh, my stars. Let me just... I can't work without a script, sorry. Thanks, William Shakespeare, wherever you are. Thank you to all at the Helpman Awards, uh, to my fellow nominees, Leah Purcell, Alison White and Helen Morse. I am so honoured to, to be amongst you and I'm so blessed to be part of an industry of incredible female storytellers like you. Um, the cast and crew of Richard III, without you I wouldn't be standing here, I probably wouldn't be standing at all. Um, and this belongs to all of you, Peter Evans and Nigel Poulton, who, who never questioned why there shouldn't be a female Richard III, but instead always asked why not. Thank you. Uh, to all at Bell Shakespeare, your utterly astounding support during the season proves that a company is indeed a whole other family. Thanks to my mum, Glenis, my sister, Tegan, my niece, Maisie, for running lines incessantly, and my husband, Hamish, thank you for living with Richard III for two years. Uh, the physical difficulties I share with Richard were the result of my dad's exposure to Agent Orange in the Vietnam War. Google, if you don't know what that is. Um, dad was my ally and my cheerleader, and I lost him 10 days after we opened. And I love you, Dad, and thank you for giving me a spine when I needed it the most, albeit a very crooked one. Have a wonderful night, everybody. Thank you. I now have the pleasure of presenting or introducing the next presenter, Joan Carden. No, no, we've, we've, she's been on. She has. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do it. Uh, please welcome the uh, hugely popular and brilliant and charismatic stand-up comedian. And star of I'm a Comedian, Get Me Out of Here. I'm a Celebrity. I know you are. I apologised. I haven't watched it. Nor have I. You're nominated in the next category. Yeah, that's what we've got to get off. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr Joel Creasy. Helpman Awards. I need to move this along because of the lockout laws. I think they're in two minutes. Um, <laughs> I do want to say, though, I was so thrilled uh, to be nominated for Best Comedy Show earlier. A lot of people say it's all about the award, but let's be honest. It's all about the bragging rights and the free stuff that comes with the award. At the Oscars, the nominees get goodie bags valued at over $100,000. So it's not all about the professional recognition. And um, while I think of it, may I just say a huge thank you to the Helpmans for my box of favourites and my bottle of Yellow Glen. Thank you. I um, <laughs> look forward to having that later. Um, I am presenting these awards, though, because I was um, the captain of my drama club in high school. You may say a club needs to have more than one person. Uh, some people you can't, you know, call a club uh, a club with a single person. Um, I would tell those people that you're wrong. You can. And I did. Um, and look, I know being a captain of your drama club is a bit of a gay stereotype, but I also have a boat licence, so you know, I like to keep things even. Um, <laughs> anyway, here are the four guys who played roles I never got to do in high school. <laughs> the nominees for Best Actor in a Musical are... Ainsley Mellon, Aladdin. AJ Holmes, The Book of Mormon. Callum Francis, Kinky Boots. Charles Edwards, My Fair Lady. An envelope. My grandma told me all about these. Uh, while it's a great honour to be nominated, there are, can only be three losers this evening, ladies and gentlemen. And the winner is Callum Francis, Kinky Boots. This is Callum Francis's first Australian visit. Originally from the north of England, Callum has appeared in numerous West End shows and recently won the Melbourne Green Room Award for Best Lead Actor in a Musical. I tried not, I, I did, I'm trying not to swear, so, okay, I'll get on. Jesus. Um, this show, my God, if you haven't seen it, then you're stupid. Um, 
This show is all about acceptance, and I'm a little boy from England who you have accepted. Like, I cannot thank you enough. So thank you for this. I'm going to get on with this before I cry and embarrass myself. Um, Mum and Dad, who are on the opposite side of the world, I love you. This is for you. Um, Jerry Mitchell, all the American team, DB Bonds. Michael Castle and everyone at the Castle Group, he is the best guy to bring this here because he has a heart of gold. Um, Bronte, Blake, Gentle Predney, my whole cast in the UK, my whole cast here. Um, my Connie Dyson, who paints my face with me fidgeting every single night, um, Simon, Oscar, Weiwei, my best friend Drew. I share the stage every night with the absolute lovable idiot that is Toby Francis, and I share this with you, but most of all, week one, I met a Disney prince who I fell head over heels with, and I get to share this with you, mate. Thank you. I have had that fantasy, actually. I, uh, I cast that in my mind. Uh, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, next up, here are the four fabulous divas who I did get to play in high school. <laughs> Best female actor in a musical, the nominees are... Amy LaPalma, Dusty. Anna O'Byrne, My Fair Lady. Sophie Wright, Kinky Boots. Zara Newman, The Book of Mormon. Anna O'Byrne, my fair lady. Um, <clears throat> oh my god, you scared the shit out of me. I, uh, and the winner is Anna O'Byrne, my fair lady! Thank you so much, and I'm sorry that circumstance prevents me from being there in person to accept this award. Uh, I'd like to begin by thanking everybody at Opera Australia and GFO, John Frost, Alex Budd, Pella Gregory, Susie Parks, Steve Sauer, Christopher Catelli, Stephen Bientsky and Karen Waterman-Johnson for your integrity in bringing this piece back to life on stage. I'd like to thank Peter Brooks, Lisa Mann and everybody at CAM and LMCM. To my director, Julie Andrews, thank you for showing me the heart and soul of Eliza and for allowing me to carry her spirit on stage. And lastly, to my beloved family and to Andy, who give everything context and meaning. I love you. Thanks. Have a brilliant night. Oh, no, I'm going to use that. You can have it. Wow. I, uh, what? You wanna, oh, you want to take that off me? Oh, jeez, I need a drink. Uh... <clears throat> to make a special presentation, please welcome the president of Life Befo oh God, of Life Performance Australia, Andrew Kay. Thank you, Joel. We are celebrating something of a milestone this evening. Over, after over a decade at the helm of the Helpmans, our executive producer, John Nichols, and the chair of the Helpman Organising Committee, Ross Cunningham, are both stepping down. Theirs has been an extraordinary contribution to our industry and on behalf of the entire profession, the people on stage and off, we wish to thank them. John is uh, backstage behind the scenes overseeing tonight's show, so he's not coming out. But I would like to call on Ross Cunningham, who's sitting just there, to join me here on stage. Ross, on behalf of everyone associated with the Helpmans, we thank you. And as a measure of our deep appreciation, we'd like you to accept your very own Helpman Award for outstanding contribution to our industry. Ross, <laughs> congratulations. Thank you, Andrew. I'm indeed honoured and incredibly proud of this Bobby. I remember being asked to join the Helpmen's Foundation Committee about 20 years ago, led by the irrepressible Jan Stoneham. Back then we had a vision that Australia needed a version of the Tonys or the Oliviers, but we went one step further. We just didn't do it for a couple of genres, we did it for nine. Nine genres, we had to do it hard, but you know, that's the way we do things out here, we don't do them by half. That has made the learnings and the journey all the more richer and certainly more complicated for our wonderful industry in running awards, presentations and events like this. It's an imperfect process. 
and you can only learn and improve by having the courage to do it, which we've done for these last 17 years. But I tell you what is perfect is to see in the bios of artists, practitioners, technicians and companies with their listings that they've won a Helpman or they've had even a Helpman nomination. That's when we realise that we've done it and we're close to perfection in achieving our vision of the Helpman's public face that people are proud to declare in their CVs, bios and investment papers. To my partner in crime for the last 20 years, John Nichols, who has been on this journey with me, and we stood shoulder to shoulder, staunchly protecting the integrity and the vision we've had in those first days, to say to you, mate, I know you're backstage there, I want to thank you for your passion, your dedication and your friendship. Let's hear it for Johnny. For me and John, it's the time to hand over to the next team, and I've never not looked forward to investing my personal time in the stewardship of this very special event, particularly for my 20 years' involvement and the last 12 as chair. I'd like to thank all the organisations I've worked for over those 20 years of allowing me the time and sponsoring my involvement in this wonderful award. And most of all, I'd like to thank my beautiful wife of 40 years who's in the audience tonight, Moira and my perfect children, Daniel, Mandy and Jim, for allowing me the time to be away from home so much to follow my helpman's dream. Have a great night, everyone. Chookers. Now, please, it's my great pleasure, actually, to welcome from the Media, Entertainment and Arts Alliance the Federal President of Actors' Equity, Chloe Dallimore. We don't do presidential handshakes. No, apparently not. Welcome, Madam President. Thank you so much, Mr. President. And I understand it is your birthday. It is. Not my birthday. This year, Live Performance Australia celebrates its 100th year anniversary. We were established back in 1917. And equity has been around representing performers, musicians and the theatre workers for 78 of those years. Ours is a great industry full of extraordinary people, and tonight we celebrate their achievements. Tonight's nominees represent just the tip of a very large and beautiful performance iceberg. I'm naughtily going off script. I just want to assure Lyndon Cherichini that Australian musicals, Australian created musicals are live and well, along with Melba. There is also, I'm very proud to be involved in the Australian created Joe for PM with Powerhouse and Jute Theatre. I can't see that on the... Uh, no, it's no. not. I said I was naughtily going off script. <laughs> Congratulations, Australian musical theatre. And of course, all of those actors have to be directed. Our next award is for best direction of a play. Here are the four nominees. Judy Davis, Faith Healer. Kip Williams, Chimerica. Letitia Caceres, The Drover's Wife. Susie D, Shit. And the helpman goes to Letitia Caceres, The Drover's Wife. Letitia Caceres was an associate director of the Melbourne Theatre Company for three years and is co-founder of the acclaimed theatre company Real TV. This is her first helpman. I have a helper, you see, <laughs> and I really can't do this job without her. Um, thank you so much. Oh, I can't turn this thing on to get to my speech. What a nightmare. Um, thank you so, so much. Um, I want to acknowledge uh, my fellow nominees, Susie D, who is my idol, um, the formidable Kip Williams, and the legendary Judy Davis, who, who are extraordinary. Um, 
I, um, I want to thank Belvoir for programming The Drover's Wife, Eamon and your team, your confidence in this project and your unwavering belief in its power was inspiring. Thank you to Bain Stewart from Ombara Productions for reminding us constantly of why we were telling this story and what was at stake. To all of my creatives, but most of all to Leah Purcell, you are I, the queen. You are the queen. Thank you so much for entrusting me. I love you. I love you, my husband. <laughs>Trey Parker and Casey Nicolau, Book of Mormon. Thank you so much. On behalf of Trey Parker and myself, uh, we're absolutely thrilled uh, to accept this award and uh, to be honored. And we had the best time. We loved the show. And it was so great to be in Australia and greeted with open arms and uh, to revisit the show again. So thank you very much. Thank you to John Frost and Bernadette and everybody who helped bring the show to Australia. We had a great time. Thank you. To present the next award, please welcome the Honourable Don Harwin, New South Wales Leader of the Government in the Legislative Council and the Minister for the Arts. Well, I'm absolutely delighted to be here tonight representing the New South Wales Government uh, to present the Helpman Award for Best New Australian Work. Here are the nominations. Dusty Beats and Lisa Falafi, Hot Brown Honey. Darcy Grant, Elliot Zorna, Shenton Gregory, Jeff Cobham, Jacob Randall, Yasha Boyce, Simon McClure, Lachlan Binns, Mika Lazot, Louis West, Martin Schreiber, Joanne Curry, Lachlan Harper, Jackson Manson, Triton Tunis Mitchell, and Lewis Rankin. Backbone. David Morton, The Wider Earth. Kate Mulvaney, Jasper Jones, Leah Purcell, The Drover's Wife, Matthew Whittet, Girl Asleep. And the Helpman Award for Best New Australian Work goes to Leah Purcell, The Drover's Wife. This is the third award tonight for the play The Drover's Wife. Written by Leah Purcell. Leah is a popular actor and now director of the ABC of series ain't Clever bad. Man. I'm going to talk real fast. I'd just like to acknowledge country that I'm on, the Gadigal, the Cadigal, and the Wangal, and where I sit, I live, and I create. Thank you for your blessings. To my partner, Bain Stewart, the love of my life, the man that walks beside me, without him, I would not be here. To my cast and crew who work tirelessly on this project with me as the writer and the direct uh, and the actor, <laughs> the lead in it. Uh, well, I did a little. No, Letty did all that. Letty did all that, I promise. I did. I shut up. I did shut up and let her do that. Um, but I'd really, I am so grateful for this. I was a C average student. I wasn't supposed to get too far in life. So I want to tell every little C average student out there, don't let anyone tell you you can't because you can because I did. And thank you everyone. This is massive. And I just want to dedicate this to my mum read me The Drover's Wife, who would recite it to me. Without her, I would not be here. She's my hero, she's my mother, and she's my father. Rest in peace. 29 years is a long time. Thank you, everybody. Almost there, folks. 61 years ago, a musical adaptation of George, George, I need speech elocution, George Bernard Shaw's play Pygmalion opened on Broadway. It was the story of a professor of speech who takes a young girl from the lower class and turns her into a well-spoken lady. Those leading roles might have been played by Noel Coward and Mary Martin, but both actors turned the parts down. So the role of Eliza went to a then unknown 21-year-old by the name of Julie Andrews and helped turn her into a star. 
Who would have thought that six decades later, Dame Julie would come to Australia to direct a revival of this beloved musical? Please welcome Reg Livermore and the cast of My Fair Lady. Come along, Elfie. How much time do I have left? There's just a few more hours. That's all the time you've got. A few more hours before they tie the knot. There are drinks and girls all over London, and I have to track them down in just a few more hours. Ding dong, the bells are gonna chime. Pull out the stopper, let's have a whopper. But get me to the church on time. I gotta be there in the morning. Spruced up and looking in me prime. Girls, come and kiss me. Show how you'll miss me. But get me to the church on time. If I am dancing, roll up the floor. If I am whistling, walk me out the door. For I'm getting married. In the morning, ding dong, the bells are gonna chime. Kick up a rumpus, but don't lose the compass and get me to the church. Get me to the church, for God's sake, get me to the church.
to present the award for best play. Please welcome Wayne Harrison. Many years ago, I heard the great Australian playwright David Williamson say that unless we tell our own stories in our own voices, then reality is something that happens somewhere else. These four plays give us an insight into our own reality, and they do it in our own voices. And they are the nominees for Best New Play. Jasper Jones, Melbourne Theatre Company. Once in Royal David City, Queensland Theatre and Black Swan State Theatre Company. The Drover's Wife, Belvoir. Things I Know to Be True, State Theatre Company, South Australia and Frantic Assembly. And the Helpman Award goes to Belvoir, The Drover's Wife. Everybody, uh, please. Uh, this uh, this was the work of um, the entire company at Belvoir Street, the entire staff. It was commissioned by the Balnais Foundation and uh, was developed by the Balnais Foundation. It was the work of the cast, including Tony Cogan, Mark Colesmith, Benedict Hardy, Will McDonald, and of course. Um, Leah Purcell. Uh, it was directed by Letitia Caceres, the design team with Stephen Curtis, Tess Schofield, Verdi Hampson, The Sweats, and Sean Chilborough. I'm going to finish this by saying that Leah Purcell wrote this play from a kind of deep memory of her own, but a deep memory of this country's. And I remember watching Mark every night have to relive that. And that memory continues to get reawoken and re-triggered every time things happen like what happened in Kalgoorlie recently. So this award, I think, is um, uh, about work yet to come. Thanks, everybody. Please welcome Foxtel's Deborah Hutton. Good evening, everyone. Will you be pleased to know we are almost at the finishing line? Oh, yes. The last three awards. The first award is for Best Opera. And here are the outstanding nominations. Cavaliera Rusticana and Pagliacci. Opera Australia. Cosi Fantuti. Opera Australia. King Roger. Opera Australia. Saul. Adelaide Festival, in association with the State Opera of South Australia, the Adelaide Symphony Orchestra, and the Adelaide Festival Centre present a Glindbourne Festival Opera production. And the Best Opera Award goes to, or the Helpman Award goes to, the Adelaide Festival in association with the State Opera of South Australia, the Adelaide Symphony Orchestra and the Adelaide Festival Centre present a running a festival of production of Seoul. Congratulations! Uh, this, is, this is just so completely fantastic. Thank you so much to everybody who, who voted. Um, first off, uh, thanks to Barry Kosky and the incredible team. He's been called a genius half a dozen times tonight. There's absolutely no doubt about it. Um, to our partners, State Opera of South Australia, to the Adelaide Festival Centre, to the Adelaide Symphony Orchestra, to our incredible board, led by Judy Potter, our amazing staff, our past CEO, Sandy Vashur, and current CEO, Rob Brookman, who just backed this, and the State Government of South Australia, principally the Premier, Jay Wetherill, and our Arts Minister, Jack Snelling, they they really bought Neil and I's vision for grand, epic, extraordinary work to be the centre of the Adelaide Festival and really be the touchstone for the nation. So many people came to the festival in 17. It's exactly what the festival was about. Thank you so much.
Very big night for Barry. OK. And now the Helpman Award for Best Ballet. Again, very four strong contenders, and here they are. Ballet Przalkarz, Snow White, QPAC in association with Brisbane Festival, Solo Echo, Netherlands Dance Theatre and Arts Centre Melbourne, Strictly Gershwin, Queensland Ballet and QPAC, We Who Are Left, Queensland Ballet and QPAC. We're having a lost a moment here. Just hang in there. Just clarify. Yeah, just <laughs> chat amongst yourselves. I think and that's not right. We, we can't give Barry another one. I reckon he's had enough today. <laughs> oh, thank God. All right, very good. OK, ladies and gentlemen. The Bobby goes to QPAC in association with Brisbane Festival. It is a ballet Prince Jozlovsky Snow White. <laughs> Good evening, I'm John Coxis, the Chief Executive of QPAC, and on behalf of David Bertolt and the Brisbane Festival and the QPAC team, um, it's a great honour to receive this on behalf of that great collaboration. It began with a conversation between Ross Cunningham and David. It's a great collaboration. It, took, it featured the QSO and the Internet QPAC International Series, together with the Brisbane Festival, gives us an opportunity to bring some of the best companies in the world to Australia. Thank you. Since 2005, the Helpmans have been fortunate to be in partnership with Foxtel. The partnership has been driven by a man whose love of theatre and the arts is well known throughout the industry. He has put the Helpmans on the map and has been the strongest supporter of theatrical producers in this country. So there is no more fitting person to present our final award for tonight. It gives me great pleasure to introduce to you Executive Director of Television and Marketing at Foxtel, Mr. Brian Walsh. <laughs> Thank you, Tim. Foxtel is a proud Australian company with a commitment to great storytelling. And we're honoured to have been part of this prestigious event, The Helpmans, and to have broadcast it for the last 12 years. Tonight, I would like to uh, add my gratitude to the marvellous John Nichols, who has been driving the event for all those years, and of course, the chair, who you saw earlier tonight, Ross Cunningham. Tonight, we celebrate and acknowledge those whose performances and storytelling has inspired and entertained us. And we broadcast these moments to Australians through the technology of television and video that expands the canvas and provides a showcase of these memorable works, these unforgettable moments. And whilst the delivery method continues to evolve, the essence of telling a great story giving a spellbinding performance doesn't change. And that's what makes tonight so very special. And now to the final award of the night, Best Musical. In a first for the Helpman Awards, all four of the nominated shows are still playing to audiences around the country. From the razor sharp and side-splitting exploits of two unsuspecting Mormon preachers in the depths of the African jungle, to the magical, mystical journey of two star-crossed lovers across the Arabian night sky, the grandeur and sophistication of Lerner and Lowe's celebrated musical based on George Bernard Shaw's Pygmalion, and then the unforgettable and uplifting story of Lola and Charlie in a dazzling yet beautifully tender story of love and acceptance. These are your nominees for Best Musical. Thank <laughs> you.
Aladdin, Disney Theatrical Productions Australia. Kinky Boots, Michael Castle, by special arrangement with Daryl Roth and Hal Lufti. My Fair Lady, Opera Australia and John Frost. The Book of Mormon, Anne Garofino, Scott Rudin, Important Musicals, John Frost, Roger Berland, Scott M. Delman, Jean Dumanian, Roy Furman, Stephanie P. McClelland, Kevin Morris, John B. Platt, and Sonia Friedman Productions. Round of applause, four fabulous shows, yeah? Here we go. The Helpman Award for Best Musical goes to The Book of Mormon. Uh, I took it very slowly coming up here because the last time I did that I fell flat in my face so I didn't want to repeat that tonight. Um, look, on behalf of my co-producers Anne Garofino and Scott Rudin, thank you very much and certainly thank you to the voters. I want to thank um, our wonderful writers being Matt Stone, Trey Parker, Robert Lopez, our designers, our cast, our crew, our wonderful musicians and the rest of the Book of Mormon family in Australia and in London and in New York. Thank you, thank you so much. Come and see us. God bless you all. for tonight, ladies and gays. <laughs> we, we do have to wrap up because 2018 Helpmans are due to start in 15 minutes, so... <laughs> Please thank the fabulous Helpmans Orchestra and our musical director, Vanessa Scammell. And to take us out from the hit show opening this week in Sydney at the Rosalind Packer Theatre, Walsh Bay, please welcome the fabulous Marsha Hines and the cast of Velvet.
program brought to you by Beautiful.